The Holocaust was a terrible atrocity in our world's history, but it's important to remember the past so we never repeat it again. This next segment has been sponsored by the St. Louis Catlin Feldman Holocaust Museum, where they're inviting you in to listen, open up your ears and your heart to reject hatred, promote understanding, and inspire change. The museum also wants to invite you in to celebrate and to remember the survivors that settled in St. Louis for International Holocaust Remembrance Day coming up on January 27th. The St. Louis Kaplan Feldman Holocaust Museum has been open for a little over a year now, but its roots go back over 20 years as the Holocaust Museum and Learning Center. But the community really has come together to develop this extraordinary resource that uses the history and experience of the Holocaust to reject hatred, promote understanding, and inspire change. So we're standing in the Survivor's Gallery in the exhibition. And the main exhibition tells the entire story of the war, of the Holocaust experience, and the artifacts inside really speak to many, many aspects of that history. Uh, a lot of the artifacts here are from the families that settled here, so they, you really get an up-close, very personal look into the lives of the, of the survivors. The Impact Lab really came out of this idea of if we build a Holocaust museum, at the end of most Holocaust museums, we're told, you know, now you know this history, a hard and horrible history, um, go forward and, and fight hate, stand up to anti-Semitism and racism and prejudice, but you're really leaving people with no space to do that. The Impact Lab is an extraordinary component of the museum complex. It really takes its inspiration from the survivors here and then provides tools for people going through that experience to examine their own biases. Impact Lab, I think, will exceed everybody's expectations. It's not a gallery like you find in a regular sort of museum space. It's also not a classroom. It's an interactive room um, that's really talking to you. So the I Impact Lab and the exhibition here work together to really get people to connect with the lessons of the Holocaust and gives them tools, it puts, it puts those lessons into action, it gives them tools to go out into their communities, into their lives, and make a difference. One of the museum's big mission messages is that change begins with us, with you, with me, with all of us working together. Um, and it starts, I think, with an internal conversation. Who am I? Um, what are the stereotypes that I might perpetuate? Um, how do I play into um, racial systems? And how can I talk about those things, understand those things, and the power I have? It's about empowerment. And then how do I change and disrupt them? International Holocaust Remembrance Day takes place on the 27th of January. We will have almost free admission. It's pay as you wish to come into the museum the entire weekend. We'll have programs for uh, kids. We'll have programs for adults. We'll have a story time. We will be reading the names of Holocaust survivors, and we will be featuring a keynote speaker, Michael Berenbaum, who is well known in the Holocaust community and is associated with the development and founding of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. He'll be our keynote speaker. After a tour here at the St. Louis Kaplan Feldman Holocaust Museum, you'll be met with the reflection wall, a wall where so many patrons who have come and left their reflections. I pulled one off of the wall earlier this afternoon, and it simply reads, I will continue to pray that the hand of God cover you and bless you always. This is truly a sentiment that I can relate to. And this gem is in the heart of St. Louis. And we encourage you to come on out and celebrate International Holocaust Remembrance Day on January 27th. If you're interested in learning more about the Holocaust Museum in St. Louis, head online to their website at stlholocaustmuseum.org. In Creve Corps, I'm Chelsea Haynes for Studio STL. The St. Louis Kaplan Feldman Holocaust Museum is honoring the survivors and the memory of the victims. Join them for International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Things are kicking off at 3.30 p.m. and you can join them and Dr. Michael Berenbaum, a Holocaust scholar and former project director of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum as he delivers thoughts and notes from what the world must know. 
If you're interested in learning more about this incredible day, visit them online at strholocaustmuseum.org.